Hey everybody, thanks a lot for tuning in. This video is all about the brand Soap and & Glory, and I have mentioned some of their products just here and there recently, maybe in some Best in Beauty videos, and I had mentioned maybe doing an overall video on the things that I've tried, and a lot of you said, yes, yes, do that. So that's what I'm here to do. Um, I've got some individual products, body products, and also some makeup things. They actually have a couple of makeup kits out, and I thought I would include those in this video and I really wanted to get this out before Christmas because I find a lot of these things to be very giftable, the things that I like. So I think I'm going to start out talking about my favorite things and we'll wrap it up with the not so favorites. And just a couple notes real quickly on the price range of these things. I love how a lot of the body products are sold in smaller sizes. So for like $4 you could try a travel size of let's say the hand cream or one of the body washes. Um, some of the big tubs of moisturizer are going to run around $15 dollars which I think is pretty fair considering the amount you get. I think that's actually a really good deal. And then the little kits are kind of all over the place. But I find it to be a pretty good value, you know, a relatively low cost brand, generous sizes, really cute packaging, cute product names and stuff. So let's jump in. If we're talking body products first, and I had to narrow it down to just like two top body products from this line. I've still got other things that I like, but my two like top of the mountain favorites. Um, first one, you know, I love this, the sugar. Sugar Crush Body Butter Cream. The Sugar Crush scent, you're going to see that showing up if you're browsing the line on Ulta's website, let's say. I think they sell it in a body wash, a body scrub. I have it in the Body Butter Cream, and this is a combination of both loving the formula of this lotion and loving the scent. It's a sweet lime fragrance. I've talked about it as being like a margarita plus vanilla ice cream. It's that kind of a creaminess, but then a little bit of tart bite, and I really love it. It's sweet. Um, it's really refreshing refreshing when you put it on, and it's just really unique. I don't have anything else that smells remotely like this product. I love the consistency of the body butter cream because I feel like um, while it's light, it's still surprisingly potent in terms of how moisturizing it is on the skin. It's a great thing to put on after the shower. I find myself just wanting to Oh, put this on anytime just to get a whiff of that scent. And like I just talked about in my Best in Beauty video, I have um, from Mark, it's the Crazy for Cranberry Body Spray. So you can be cranberry lime if you want to <laughs> with that little combo of this and the spray. But I love this. The other top body product for me, which is a little bit more of a recent find, and I'm just loving it so much, it's called the Smoothie Star Breakfast Scrub. So it's in the same size container as the other thing, but this is something you're going to use in the shower. This is such a potent scrub. Like, it really does something. You kind of scoop into it. You know, you can see here, scoop out some product. The scent is so yummy. It says oat, sugar, and shea. And I didn't notice this until after I bought it, but it says great maple scent. And I can sense a little bit of that. Not like knock you over, like you just made some pancakes and poured on some maple syrup, but there's just a hint of that. It's a slightly sweet scent, but it's a very warm scent to me. It says with Kupu Kupapa Kapaku Bio Scrubs. Uh, bananas, almond, and honey extracts. I can sense that little bit of almond in this. It's just a soft but really yummy scent and then the texture, the consistency of the scrub. If you're like me and you get frustrated by scrubs many times not being scrubby enough and you go to apply them and it's like it scrubs for two seconds and then where'd all the scrubbies go? You're not gonna have that experience with this product. And I sometimes get those little like bumpy texture things on my arms and I have noticed a difference in those since I've been using this. Um, it's just really great all over the body. Your skin is going to feel softer. The scent is amazing. So those two are my favorite, tip-top favorite body products. But still, there are some other body products that I really enjoy. If you're looking to try more, um, I know a lot of people talk about the Righteous Butter. This is a small size of it. It's going to be the same consistency as the Sugar Crush Body Butter Cream, but it has, I think, um, maybe a slightly softer scent. It's going to be less fruity. Um, it makes me think of a very feminine scent. 
a little more floral kind of rosy. Occasionally I'll bounce between these two just depending on what kind of scent I'm after because they are totally different. I also have a small size of this Clean On Me. It's the Creamy Moisture Shower Gel. This is probably my favorite um, just regular shower gel body wash type product that they sell. One thing about that Smoothie Star Scrub, it's not going to really lather up for you. It's a straight up scrub and that's what it does. So if you want more of something that's going to foam up and be kind of bubbly it really is kind of like that righteous butter scent put into a body wash. Builds up into a really nice lather. Um, it is something I would consider buying the full size in. And the last two body items that I thought were really great are the hand food. Um, really awesome hand cream, especially if you find a lot of hand creams to be a bit too thick, um, take a little too long to absorb, or just feel like too greasy on your hands. I love this because it softens the hands up really nicely, but doesn't go overboard. And I think this this is probably a small size that I got here as well. I was just in a real testing mood one day when I was ordering on Ulta. I think there's the classic scent that this comes in is very similar to the Righteous Butter. You know, again, that soft feminine floral, but still very clean, not too heavy. Also, I really liked, and I never heard anyone mention this, the Heal Genius Foot Cream so good. Um, this, I believe, is the full size. I don't know that this comes in a small size, but this contains glycerin, macadamia oil, menthol, orange and lemon, fruit acid smoothers. It does not have a scent that's like any of the other products I've mentioned. It's actually, um, can you see there? It's blue in color. It's rather thin. For some reason, I was expecting a thicker cream to put on the feet. For some reason, when I take a whiff of this, I think of like clean cotton, but I do get a, a hint of that menthol vibe going on too. Not super strong. But they say put this on your feet and then put cotton socks on top and let it soak in while you sleep. I am one of those people I cannot sleep in socks. I really can barely sleep with my feet under a sheet. I always kick my feet out. A lot of times after a shower, I will put this on my feet and slip on some socks just like for the evening. And it really does an amazing job just for that span of time. Softens up the feet so much. Now makeup wise, I'm really happy to report that I love both of the makeup kits that I tried and I believe both are still available, at least at the time I'm shooting this, on Ulta's website or if they're anywhere else, I'll put the links below. But if you're needing some last minute gifts and you wanna give something makeup related, these are great. First off, this is the Crazy Sexy Coal Liner Kit. Shout out to all the old school TLC fans out there. Um, but isn't this so cute? I love this little canister, and inside there are five eyeliners. Full-size liners, this is like a $22 kit, so I think it's an amazing deal. These are truly like waterproof, intense liners, and I have rave, rave, raved about the Tarte Skinny Smolder Eyes. These are just like those. I really feel like they are. They go on so smoothly, even over powder eyeshadow. It's one thing, it's kind of deceiving when you're in a store sometimes testing eyeliners and swatching them out on your hands, and you're like, okay, that went on really smoothly. I think I'm gonna try it. Not every liner that swatches easily on your bare skin is gonna draw easily over powder shadow on your eyelid. These, I can say for sure, they go on easily. The colors are really pretty. You've got your basic brown and black, and then three very very wearable jewel tones, the brightest of which is this like kind of jade green. You got a plum and also a navy. I had swatches of these on my hand the other day, forgot to really make a point to scrub them off in the shower and they completely lasted through the shower. So if you want to take these off, um, some sort of soapy makeup remover and a little bit of a gentle scrub is what you're going to need to do. Staying power on the inner rim, your waterline is good but not great. Um, when you're applying it on the upper lash line, if you do want to smudge it out, you've got to be kind of quick with it. It. I mean, it definitely can be smudged, but don't like do this eye and this eye and then think you're going to have enough time to smudge it. Smudge it right after you apply if that's the way you want to wear it. But I just thought these were such an awesome find. I couldn't wait to tell you guys about that. The other makeup kit that I got, this was a $40 kit and it is the Glamouflage set. And this, I thought, you know, it's kind of big. Some of the products lift out, but it's kind of a bulky set. So for me to see this is worthwhile, I'm going to really want to love everything that's inside. First off, big mirror there. 
there, and then a bunch of full-size products. So you're getting three eyeshadows right over here, um, the Glow All Out Luminizing Face Powder, there's a little brush here for face, a double-ended eye brush, one of the Sexy Mother Pucker Lip Lacquers, yes you heard that right, gotta love the product names, um, then there's a Thick and Fast Mascara and a Super Cat Liquid Eyeliner Pen. The shades are Cream Soda, Copper, and Chalky, and I am wearing those all on my eyes today. I love how copper is just like that really wearable rose gold that so many of us love. Chalky is kind of like a mix between brown and taupe, and it looks really pretty, like smoked out and smudged on the lower lash line or in the crease. Cream Soda is very brightening. So those are one of my favorite parts. I also love this Luminizing Face Powder, which looks kind of peachy just at a glance, and it's not crazy shimmery. Like, I got a swatch of it on my finger, and I'm looking at it like, where's the glow? It's very subtle. This is the kind of thing you really could wear all over the face for just a little boost in luminosity, or you can apply it with a smaller brush um, just on top of the cheeks, and you get that little more concentrated glow. I am wearing this over my um, Frat Boy blush from The Balm, and I think it's just a gorgeous, subtle, highlighted look. And I do think the fact that these two things aren't like insanely shimmery, that'll make this kit work for a lot more people. Also, really love this lip product. I mean, it, this is the liquid lipstick trend minus the matte, basically. It's completely opaque, full color. This shade is called Charm Offensive, and I'm wearing it here in this video. There's no shimmer in it. It feels kind of thick and when you're first putting it on and you're thinking, oh great, you know, is this going to be one of those thick sticky glosses? But honestly, and, and let me know if you agree if you've tried these, it gets more comfortable as it stays on your lips. And I'm not talking about just because it's wearing off. It's got great shine, really good staying power for a glossy finish lip product, and I also love the applicator. It's one of those that's more flat. Um, as opposed to a classic doe foot, so I feel like you can really take advantage of the edges to get right out to the edges of your lips. So this is an awesome, awesome element of the kit. This Super Cat Liquid Liner Pen is nice. I don't notice anything incredibly unique and amazing about it, though, um, probably because it's not waterproof. In terms of staying power, those pencils last way longer than this. A little bit of moisture can cause this to smudge some. Not that everyone's needing a waterproof liner every day of their life. This is still totally usable, don't don't get me wrong, and I think a lot of people would appreciate a pen liner. And finally, the Thick and Fast High Definition Collagen Coat Mascara. This actually has a brush that reminds me a little bit of a mascara that I love very much from the drugstore. Um, it's because it's got short bristles on one end and longer bristles on the other. Don't know if you'll be able to tell that by the way I'm holding it here, but it's a lot like the Almay One Coat Nourishing Triple Effect in that way. I like having short bristles on one side because I feel like I can take that side really, really close to the base of the lashes. This is a nice mascara from a thickening standpoint. To lengthen, I feel like I have to do a little more work to get the length to build up for me. Not saying it's impossible, but my CoverGirl Supersizer can give me length like that. So I don't love it as much as that mascara. I still think it's a decent mascara though. And of course, one thing I've learned in, what, eight years on YouTube is that we all have different preferences for mascaras. One other thing I want to mention here, there is a little extra length in all of these individual product compartments. So I do think this would fit a lot of standard size mascaras, um, even if it was a little bigger than this one, or if something was a little taller than that liner pen, you know, you could swap them out once you run out of these. But this last minute gift idea for just about anybody who might have an interest in makeup. It's a fun kit. Well, I don't have nearly as much to talk about in terms of the things I did not like, but I've got a few things, so I'm going to mention it. The Scrub of Your Life. This is a small size. This is like a clear scrub with little pink beads in it. And um, scent-wise, it's along the lines of the Righteous Butter and the Clean On Me Body Wash. I like it from that aspect, but if we're talking scrubs... This does not hold a candle to this one. Like, this stuff will scrub you down. This, um, you know, it's one of those things where I felt like it scrubbed me nicely for the first few seconds that I was using it, and then I kind of needed to add more. It's truly just nowhere near the level of scrubbage that you get out of this one, the Smoothie Star Breakfast Scrub. The other little kit that I tried that I was just not a huge fan of, and this might be just personal preference on scent, because the consistency of the products were okay, 
I just didn't really love the way they smelled. And it's the stuff that came in this Soper Woman. This is a nice little container, actually. I do like that. And you do get one of these shower puffs in there. And the two full-size products in there are the Rich and Fomus um, Shower and Body Wash and also the Smoothie Star Body Milk, which is like a lotion. Now, the body wash says almond, oats, and brown sugar scent. This... I just can't quite rally around this. It's nice and rich and creamy. Don't get me wrong. I like the pump. And this is going to be the weirdest scent description I've ever given. But this smells like a buttered popcorn jelly belly jelly bean taste. Like, <laughs> it's kind of sweet, but it's a little salty. It's got a little saltiness to it. And I just can't, I don't know. I just don't feel clean with this scent on me. You know what I'm saying? I know not every product has to smell like Skittles in my shower, but... This is just a bit too savory for my liking. And the Smoothie Star Body Milk, I notice a little more sweetness in this scent. It's very similar to the body wash, but it's a little bit more, like, I don't know, enjoyable on the skin. It says almond oats and sugar scent. I really wish it smelled like the Smoothie Star Breakfast Scrub, because you'll recall this has that little hint of maple. This is, like, the yummiest scent ever, and yet there's a fine line between these. But this makes me think warm, baked, sweet, yummy, delicious. And this, you know, smells okay, but not my favorite thing to be putting on the body. So guys, everything I've talked about, this is by no means the entire Soap and Glory line. I think they actually have some um, facial skincare items as well that I have not dug into yet, but I feel like I've tried a lot of the different scents and different formats, and um, hopefully this helps you out if you're browsing the site. Like I said, last minute gifts. Those makeup kits were great. A big tub of the body buttercream would be a nice thing to stick in someone's stocking or under the tree. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.